Okay, so this jar, I can see why they priced the jar the way they did. Because in addition to all those jewelry supplies, there's some really great stuff in here. So this is different, sort of a tiger print. Lightweight aluminum disc on a ball chain. And does it have a clasp? Yeah, it has a clasp. Well, you can take it apart if you need to. You could adjust it. 24 inch ball chain and uh, good condition. Wearable, repurposable, needs a little bit of shine. This is cute. It's uh, a little mangled here. It just could be because when you've got these little uh, crescents or half circles and they're been in a jewelry jar, they, I can see how they get twisted up. I don't know if they're meant to go like opposite directions or all the same. That looks nice when they go opposite directions there. It's um, got to be an anklet because it's eight inches plus the extender, which is looks like a three inch extender, almost four. So it's an eight inch with a four inch extender. That's a long extender. Um, 12 inches, I guess a, a, a young girl could wear it maybe. It's, it's kind of grimy, needs a really good wash. Pretty, pretty little thing. This is kind of, well, it's not kind of. It's just I. I thought it was kind of like that other disc one. This is um, alternating. Are they alternating? It's hard to see. They look. Yeah. So sort of matte and shiny discs. There's four there. There's. A whole bunch here. This must be the center. Two, four, six, ten, eleven. If I counted them right, four there. Goes all the way to the end. And we have a little LC, another Liz Claiborne necklace. Again, lobster claw clasp. Beautiful color. And I, this, sorry, my, my camera, I hit the. Uh, the charge cord for my camera when I'm trying to measure these things. So let me put it up here. Put the so we haven't got the whole thing in there, but there's 12 and this goes to 15 and 24, 39. Huge length. But again, Liz Claiborne, excellent condition, very wearable. I don't know how resellable those are. Okay, this is a necklace that looks interesting. Oh, okay, I have to get it the way. Oh, there we go. I thought it looked a little melted. Yeah, this guy here looks like it's been melted. So these are like, I don't know. Oh, this one's missing. Okay, so this is missing part of the flower. That one's got all of the flower. This one I thought looked melted, but I think it's just got smushed. These are... That looks empty. There's a pearl. That's missing a rhinestone. Okay, so this is a necklace, a little um, cascade. What I can't remember the name of this. Uh, of this kind of a necklace. Meant to look um, like a Victorian design. It was pretty when it started out and it's gotten mangled. So 
maybe it can be repaired in some way. Certainly rhinestone can be replaced, but the only thing I can think to do with this flower is to put a pearl in there, the same as the uh, ones on either side of it, or take all those roses out and put pearls in, and then you could have a perfectly wearable necklace again. Is it worth it? Well, you know, if we keep getting confined <laughs> to our homes with COVID, um, pastimes are really worth it. Keep you from growing crazy. That goes in the needs to be repaired pile, which I've forgotten where I put it. Oh, well. There's some nice beads coming out of here. Ooh. There's a pendant on a big bale. No maker's name. Missing. Sorry. Come on, camera. Focus, camera. There we go. Missing a rhinestone down there, but that's repairable. And it's kind of a brushed, you know, antiqued bronze. So uh, probably clean it up. There, another piece to repair. Between repairing and using up uh, all the jewelry supplies, I'll be busy for a hundred years. So this had a hang tag that a hang tag that we should all recognize, if, especially if I put it the right side up. Charm and Charlie. I don't. I hear they don't make. Charm and Charlie anymore? This is um, three strand necklace. I can, there we go. So plastic beads, gold chain with these stations. They feel like plastic. It's so. There you get a sense of it. It's very pretty. It looks really nice on this red shawl. Um, and I'll try to measure it here. From there. Well, we won't include the... Let's not include the... Let's just go from there. So 12. So... Uh, I would say 27 to the end of the first, uh, 31 to the end of there, and maybe 32 to the end of the gold chain. So again, another piece in excellent shape and uh, very wearable. Um, put that with the Liz Claiborne pieces. Well, I'm back after doing a little detangling and uh, waiting for my fridge to stop making noise. So here's some... Um, some pieces and they're quite substantial this is okay I don't know where that's supposed to go these two pieces were together there's the lobster clasp and it's the same kind of chain and I went back and I pulled out these two pieces from earlier and this matches that and this matches somewhere else I think there, kind of. So, these all are part of a, a necklace that's kind of grimy and has seen better days. It was well loved, but certainly many of the pieces are repurposable. And um, I think those are metal. These feel like plastic. It's hard to tell. It really is hard. It could be plastic. This is metal. So that's in good shape. Anyway, so I'm going to find a 
container to put all those bits in. And if I find any more pieces, uh, I don't think it's worth um, reassembling it because it, but better to take it apart and reuse what's reusable. Then there was this, and I have already, I had to detangle it, and I, I thought, oh no, they've put a scarf in a jewelry jar. When is a scarf a piece of jewelry? Well, you know, it's, okay, jewelry is ornamentation, and a scarf is ornamentation, right? Well, okay. Imagine my surprise when I, det it was all, like, this jewelry was mixed in with it, and at first I saw these, and I thought, oh, those are part of the necklace. But no, this is... A magnetic clasp soft necklace made out of this um, spaced yarn and I've actually detangled it quite a bit so that it would it would look like a scarf almost if you were wearing it but if you needed a very soft something to go under a collar this would work and I think because the very nature of this yarn is it's washable this could have a good wash um, you know I don't think that would affect the magnets and well, okay now the magnets are kind of going up wouldn't affect the magnets and um, you could wash it and and um, probably hang it with a weight to dry and you'd have a, a nice little necklace so I'm not sure if I can there's it's good 24 uh, inches long Maybe, maybe, you know, slightly longer with the clasp. So, uh, I've never seen anything like this before, but it, it makes sense in an odd kind of way. And you could take it, I suppose you could twist it too, like make it, if you, okay, Pat, only twist it one direction at once. You could twist it so that it was a little uh, more compact. And then when you closed it up, you'd have a little more compact necklace. So the flaws in the, in, in the, where it's been pulled are a little more obvious, but, um, a different, totally different look when it's, um, twisted up like that. So I'm going to put it back in a little bag so that it stays unharmed <laughs> from, could you imagine what it, getting it detangled from this would be like anyway? That's where uh, where life with a jewelry jar is very interesting. Then I found this. And this came how many layers ago? There's the match for this. So there's a nice blingy pair of earrings. Uh, and I didn't check to see if all the rhinestones are there. But it certainly looks like it. And it if not, I have red right. No, I don't see any missing ones. So a nice pair of earrings. So some really cool jewelry in here, things I've never seen before. This is interesting. This is a lobster claw clasp. It's had a bit of wear. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous enhancer. It's not just an enhancer. That's the, what do you call it when it's on pearls? I mean, it enhances the pearls, but it, it's very, very pretty. I love the fact that the rhinestones are of that bluish tone and the silver metal is closer to the color of the pearl. So you have that movement both created by the shape and the eye is sort of trying to resolve the colors. So a very nice. Could you see wearing that? That's a wedding piece of jewelry if there ever was one. 18 inches. Um, be wonderful for a prom. They're glass pearls. They're uh, uh, and they're in excellent shape. There's, you know, you can always put a better clasp on there if you wanted to. That's never an issue. But a very nice piece of jewelry, if I must say so myself. Now, what's this? Let's see. This is glass beads and a little like a pave bead yeah glass this is gotta have a well i guess it doesn't have to have a glass oh it does have a glass okay so a little bit of an extender um oh it's slightly tangled let's see if we can figure out how to resolve that 
it's three strands okay I'm gonna undo it one maybe there's one strand two strands There we are. It's kind of hard to see in the, my little camera space here, but there we go. So we have three strands. This is, uh, I think, well uh, been worn enough that this has become dull rather than shiny. But I think it, that's fine with the way the rest of the necklace works. It's very wearable. Um, so the the three strands come down to different stations of uh, rounds, rectangles, and the very bottom is the, that little multi rhinestone bead. So very nice. No maker's mark or name on it anywhere. So I don't, nothing on here. And if I'm trying to measure it, the shortest strand is 20 the next longest strand is 22 and the longest is 26 so a very nice necklace very wearable good length nice colors have I sold you on it yet <laughs> this I thought this might be um oh look at this i got a hanger i've never <laughs> i've never seen a hanger like this this is for some doll clothes or something certainly i can uh pass it on to be used for that interesting okay one hanger not jewelry okay i thought maybe this was a, just a bunch of uh seed beads but it it's a, a poor pendant that's lost its focal, lost a, uh, one, two of its, well, they feel like glass, glass pieces. These are red-ish on silver or on silver tone. And these are very bright pink. So there's a few thousand pink seed beads for somebody. And actually this clasp doesn't look like it's in bad condition. So Whatever happened to the pendant, yeah, it must have gone through some the wars somewhere. It got banged around. Maybe it got banged around the jewelry jar and all the other pieces will be in there. I doubt it. I would change up the colors if I were going to do this so that it, uh, if the, so the color choices were better. How's that? Um, where's my bag of repairable stuff over there? Okay. Then there was this icky cloth jewelry. How do I? Sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that right? See, I would have thought it went like that. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Pat's having a bit of a time here I don't see any makers mark I don't like when they put this um, cloth stuff in the jewelry but I mean this is per this is a washable at least this stuff this uh, kind of tape these are nice these could be easily repurposed if they have all their rhinestones or even if they don't you could they're a common size so these are really nice repurposable this is, um, what kind of, is it double? I think it's two, two sets of chains tied together with this um, twill tape. So that's, you know, perfectly wearable condition if it were cleaned. Um, a bunch of stuff you could do with this if you took it all apart. I think, you know, the gold chains unless for some reason they're damaged under here um would look really nice with these on that's just my opinion okay now oh that's a single earring i'll leave this 
What is this? Oh yeah, this is this I saw when I was untangling things. Look at this little bib necklace. It's tiny. First of all, it has just a hook and I think it's missing the big ring it's supposed to have on the other side. And then look at that. Isn't that pretty? Those blue by cones and beads with all those rhinestones. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. It's got, uh, I don't know. I was going to say a slightly Asian look, but I think more it's more like an Indian or Persian look. It's very, very pretty. So, um, except for the fact that it's missing a bigger ring for attaching the uh, um, the hook to. Beautiful little, uh, oh, there's a piece. Maybe not hanging quite straight. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but look at that. That's just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Look at the sparkle and shine. I'm loving this jar. I'm so excited. I get so excited about the simplest things. This is plastic with metal. These are plastic beads. Very pretty. Um, 22 inches. And uh, very, very lightweight. No clasp. So big enough to go over your head and that's about it. I suppose you could do it triple if you could contort it around the wrist. I didn't think that through very carefully, did I? Um, one, two, three. Yeah, you might get it three times around your wrist. But very pretty. It was something about red and black together. Always look nice. And if you need a light, nice lightweight necklace, there you go. Um, ah. Well, I have a, sorry, I had a single earring that was causing issues. This is, this is uh, another style of bib necklace. And... Um, I think those are, I think those are real, um, oh, I've forgotten their name now. Anyway, they seem to be all there. No, not each, um, like this one isn't has a single row down there and then double it's there. Yeah. There's a nice pebbling in between them so that it makes them sparkle. And it's on um they slide. So they've got a little bit of sound. And on this nice little gold toned snake chain, lobster claw clasp. This is a little bent, but that's repairable. When I was untangling this, which you'd be surprised, but I did have to untangle it from that other thing. If you look carefully at the back, you'll notice that it says um, A, B, C, D, E, going from the center to the left. And then it says one, two, three, four, five, going from the center to the right. So I don't know if this is, um, I mean, it's obviously in the mold for making them. So whoever, whatever um, assembly they have, you just grab the right pieces, you know, one center piece, an A, B, C, D, E, and a one, two, three, four, five to put the thing together. Isn't that pretty? Very wearable. Very pretty. I really like that. And I've forgotten the name of those stones. The ones that I'm already looking, always looking to uh, replace a few here or there when they 
fall out. So if I'm going to measure this to see how long it is to the center there, it's 18 inches. So that's a very wearable, and there's a very wearable, I never finished my sentence, very wearable and three inch extender. So um, whoever wears that can be a really happy camper. Nice and comfortable. And I think I'm going to stop there because I've forgotten how long we've already been. I think <laughs> I got a hanger in a jewelry jar. How did they get a hanger in a jewelry jar? Oh, they shrunk it. Um, I got this, what I've never seen before, a weird cloth magnetic scarf or something. I don't know what you would call it. Some great Liz Claiborne jewelry. Um, some, this really pretty little, isn't this pretty? Pretty little bib necklace. So lots of very worthwhile things to pull out of a jar. Um, and I hope you'll come back and join me for what I hope will be the last bit of the jar. We're getting down there. We're almost at the bottom. But it seems to, there, with all the untangling and showing all the different unusual pieces, it's taken longer than I would have thought. Thanks. Bye for now from Padwood and past, at Passions and Pastimes.